guys are looking for some cheap FIFA 20 coins, head over to u7buy.com. You can buy coins off the website. You can also buy players. So if you wanted Messi, you could buy him off the website. Make sure to use code MUZ at checkout for 5% off. Yes lads and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the 86 Danilo. This card looks absolutely sick. Let me know who you guys are going to be picking. If you're going to use this video as a, like a, a way of deciding whether you want Danilo or not, you can do that. I'll try my best to do it as best as possible. I'll give you my honest review on him, his weaknesses, his strengths and stuff like that. We'll go into a couple of rival games to test him out. Anyway, let's go jump in to the best chem style and we'll have a look at his in-game stats as well. Because this card looks pretty sick. So jumping over to Footbin to start off. Obviously, the card design, I love it. And he's got a dynamic image. I'll show you his dynamic image in a second. Um, but I'll show you the strengths and I'll show you the weaknesses looking at his base stats. And then I'll tell you what I think of him at the end. So, straight away, his pace is a little bit lacking. The 77 acceleration is a bit of an issue. Definitely, definitely. I'm going to skip straight to the shit. I'd go with his shadow on this. And also, if you scroll down the footbed, I don't know if you guys know this tab, but there's like a community vote. And um, Shadow by far, 74 votes, 86% of people think Shadow is the best chem style. So if we go with a Shadow on him, um, that boosts him up to 92 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. And obviously boosts some of this up, like his heading accuracy and stuff like that, which is sick. Um, his passing stats are still pretty... Uh, where's his passing stats? His passing stats are still pretty sick. 85 passing, 74 long passing. His passing is pretty sick and he's got good crossing and stuff as well. Uh, his dribbling stats... His agility and balance is going to be an issue as well. Um, it's similar agility and balance to Kyle Walker. I'm not too sure if you guys have used Kyle Walker. I don't know if 69 balance and 73 agility will be a huge issue with Danilo because he's a right back, but we'll see. It might be quite clunky. I'm not too sure. That's not too low, though. It's not too bad. Uh, and then he's got decent physical stats as well. So overall, this car looks absolutely sick. I'm looking forward to using him. Um, I'm using him in this team. We've got this Tonali as well, who's an absolute beast, by the way. Uh, Politano. I'm having to use one of those because I don't want to buy the Europa League card for 70k. But this is the team we're using him in. I've used him for one game already and I really, really liked him. But it's only for one game. So we'll do a little review on him, boys. If you could drop a like, I'd appreciate that. Drop some if you're new. Like I said, let me know you guys are going to be picking. Also, if you've got any suggestions of how I can improve these player reviews, then uh, do let me know. So anyway, let's jump. Go. So anyway, let's go jump into the gameplay. Okay, boys, jumping into game number one. Let's see how he does. Right, let's give him his first touch to the boys, Danilo. Got quite a slim build, which is nice. I thought he'd have quite like a stocky build. Nice slim build, which is very nice. Up here. Papi. And there it is, 1 0. Go on. Durr, durr. Beautiful start. Danilo's first thoughts. He's got a slim build. I thought he'd have a stocky build. I don't know why, but he's got a slim build. So that's very nice for the agility and balance. If he has quite a stocky build, I don't know if you guys have used like a Depay or something like that. He's got quite a stocky build. And it makes him like less agile. I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that, but hey, so far, rate it. Danilo, let's go, man. What a tackle. Good positioning from Danilo there. Hit him, Danilo. Danilo again. Look at that strength. Bodies him. Nice pass off. Well played, Danilo, bro. Look. How's he switch? Can he hit a switch? Easy. Easy. Straight to Carlos. Pen ref. Okay. Can Danilo take pens? Can Danilo take pens? We'll give him a tryout. Where's Mr. Danilo? What's his pen stats? Okay, he's got 71 pens. Okay, if you go to a pen shootout, this is Danilo. This is what you got to do. Danilo! Can you do the gur? Gur! Let's go, Danilo. Come on. I like it. You don't feel too stiff, to be fair. You can definitely feel he's not the most agile, but like you don't feel as bad as I thought. Quick one too. Down the line. Beautiful. Oh! He's just been a year. He has just been a year. I think he's going to quit. So far though, Danilo, he's kept his, posi his position well, he's put in some good tackles, he bodied his man when he, uh, when he needed to, and uh, going forward, don't feel too bad. He does not feel the fastest, I don't know what it is. If you guys use Danilo, you probably know what I mean. Even though apparently with a shadow, he goes up to 92 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, he doesn't feel the fastest. And I don't know if it's because the agility and balance is a little bit low, I don't know. But, he, so far I really like him, but he just doesn't feel the fastest, I don't know what it is. Okay, jump into game number two. Let's see how he does, boys. Danilo. Good positioning again from Danilo.
Danilo on the overlap. Beautiful ball. Dembele. Neymar. Let's go, man. What a ball in from Danilo, by the way. What a ball. One thing I will say, in tight areas, like where you've got a turn with him in little areas, you can definitely feel his low agility and balance. Definitely. Uh, but if you're just like doing like the basic stuff with like a left back and right back, which is all you do really, it's not too bad at all. Mbappe, Jesus. Nice fake shot, Palutano. Oh my god, no! If I actually stayed in. That was actually 200 IQ from Palutano, that he messes up the fake shot and nearly keeps it in from the corner flag. He meant to do that, I promise. Mbappe! Danilo, how's your touch, brother? Maybe not. Flick it onto Danilo. And again. There we go. Finally got to him. Danilo. I rate him, though. I rate him. It's hard. I feel like it's kind of hard to do a review on a right back or a defender. Um, but there's not much I could say about him. I, I do like him a lot. He's a solid right back. He'll link to a lot of Serie A players. And, um, yeah, I really like him so far. So I recommend him 100%. Gets the Brazilian link to like Allen. He gets strong link to Allen, which is very nice. And um, I'm hoping the next icon tops to give us like a Brazilian centre back. That Carlos Alberto baby card would be unreal. I really want to get him. Um, he'll strong link to either obviously Danilo or my Roberto Carlos. So it'll be, allow me to be very in inventive. Danilo. How was your cross, brother? How was it? Not a bad ball in again. FIFA 19, that's a goal. Back stick, what a ball. Mbappe, there we go. Hat trick for Mbappe. Already. It's him, Danilo. What a tackle. Everyone ran up. What a tackle from Danilo. Beautiful. Manual tackle as well. Mbappe! Oh, off the post. Neymar. Into Dembele. Ngar. Palatano, what a finish. What a finish from Palatano. Right, do you know what? I'm going to do a little experiment this game. I'm going to try Danilo. At, we'll try him at right back. We've got him involved quite a bit. Like him at right back a lot. Recommend him. I'm going to try him at CDM because, hey, if some of you guys want to be inventive. Um, maybe you want to try him at CDM or if you ever need a CDM, just we'll give him a try at CDM. He might not be as agile enough, but we'll see. Danilo, beautiful tackle. I reckon Danilo would make a good CDM, you know. It's similar with the flashback pitch check. I used to use um, flashback pitch check at CDM. And he used to do bits. So I imagine Danilo will be sick. Okay, boys, so there we have it. There is the review on Danilo. So, let's go through his strengths and weaknesses. For a start off, his strengths, I was really impressed with his positioning. He's always in the right place. Like I said earlier, I'm not sure with Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker's positioning was terrible. Um, and Danilo's positioning, I don't know what, what's his defensive awareness. He's actually 93 with a, chem, with a shadow on. Uh, it's 83, actually, his base stat. So, I could tell his, his position was sick. His strength, his strength, he just kept bodying um, defenders and stuff, which was sick. One downside of him is, like I said earlier, his pace, he doesn't feel rapid. 
I mean, it still feels like fairly fast, but it doesn't feel rapid. And also, it's turning in in tight areas. Let's say you're getting pre pressed by their attackers and stuff in tight areas. He doesn't feel the most agile player. But for a right back, he's very, very solid. And I recommend him a lot. Um, if you need him in Juventus team, because there's not loads of good uh, Serie A right backs, is there? There's like Malquit um, and... I know, I know there's another one, but um, Danilo probably is your best option. Well, he is 86 rated, and he links to a lot of Brazilians. Like I said, he can get he can link it to Tonali, like I've done. Get the Politano. You can get Allen with a strong link to him. And I'm hoping for the next cycle swaps so we get a, a Brazilian like midfielder or centre back, a usable one, obviously. But I think it'd be pretty sick. I really want Carlos Alberto for my team. Really do because I've needed a centre back for a while. But there we go, boys. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of um, of this review. If if I should improve anything or whatever, boys. Really recommend Danilo, 100%. There's Danilo, Chamberlain, and Gelson Martins. I wouldn't go for Chamberlain, man. He can only play one position. Um, he can only play centre mid. I know some of you guys might think he can play a cam, but I think he's got terrible finishing. He's got like 70 somewhat finishing for a cam. Um, he could play there maybe, but it's too low finishing for me. Um, centre mid, I think he'd be pretty sick, Chamberlain, but he can only play one position. I like having players that can play a few positions. Um, and Danilo especially. There's not loads of good right backs on this game as well. So Danilo, recommend him a lot. Anyway, boys, let me know if you guys are going to do him. Um, it's good to drop a like. We'll go 30 likes. Drop us if you're new. And yeah, boys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.